Hello guys, what I'm gonna do right now is install Virt.io drivers on my Windows XP. It's a difficult task, I guess, or maybe not. Let's do it together. Virtual Virt.io drivers. So I'm following these instructions. The link to these instructions will be below in the description and the link for everything I have used. So what it says is you have to download WinCD Emu so you can mount the ISO which you're going to download with the drivers from the Fedora site. So let's go there and download it. Open link in your tab. I already downloaded WinCD driver. Okay, so let me make sure I'm recording. Uh, here we go, Virtio Win ISO. So let me download this. I'm going to pause and resume when it's loaded down. It's taking almost forever to download. I will resume the record when it's loaded initially loads very very slow just notice something i clicked on this iso to download it but the name of the file actually is this one so maybe this is a link only a link because in any case i'm downloading version 0.1.173 iso just a short note Okay, finally Virtio Windows drivers have been downloaded into my virtual machine. We have to continue following the instructions. Let me open the download folder to make sure that everything is there. So I have um, I have the tool, this one, for partition here downloaded in the download folder. And I have the drivers. Um, the installer for VCD, it's somewhere here, probably in another folder. I have the habit to put them in my computer. Install, probably. This folder contains files, this blah, 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 blah. Um, show the content anyway. So, um, it has been installed anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that. And now, it says, now you have to shut down your virtual machine. Okay, let's shut it down. After downloading the ISO, I know where it is, so in downloads, uh, let me make sure I have easy access there. My documents, downloads, here we go. Okay, so shut it down. Turn it off. The updates, I'll pause the video and restart when it's done. Now you see the virtual machine has been shut down. I'll close this and continue from my admin panel. Shut down the machine in the Proxmox Web Admin. Click on the virtual machine and then on the hardware tab. Okay, let's follow these instructions. Here we go, the Proxmox. Virtual machine, hardware tab, uh, hardware tab. And we have to up right now. I believe we have to add Ethernet device and select Virtio as the model. Okay, let's do that. Hard drive, no, hardware. Add hardware. Uh, network device, Virt.io. Mm. In fact, what I do have right now, it's only this one. But Virtio 
part of virtualization. Okay, this is what, I'm, what we are going to use. Bridge, this is the bridge model. MAC address, does it say something else? I don't think so, but let me read it. Add an Ethernet device and select good IO as the model. Add a hard drive, hard disk. We're going to do this later. So let's add this one to the bridge. I have two network devices, Net0, Net1. This is Virt.io. The first one is RTL, which is standard and Windows recognized very easy. So now let's add a hard drive. And again, let's use Virtio block device. Uh, this size, uh, if the first one is 7 gigs, I'm going to use 7 gigs as well. Let's make sure that I don't have to do anything else here. Add a hard disk, select QCO2, fast boot the virtual machine, okay? Um, Virtio storage local default hmm what is this Q whatever okay so let me look again the instructions other hard disk select Q code to I don't see such thing here so let's add the only option I haven't tried is FE disk let's try hard disk let's use as a bus device with a block device i don't have other choices here in not advanced basic mode i have fewer choices format roll no roll ah here we go but it's not selected anyway so um seven I have no other choices and as a format instead of row I have to choose Q discard I don't see how I can activate this one ID no I don't have choices here so your your blocks maybe maybe SSD emulation no virtual your blocks okay seven gigabytes I don't have other choices default cache and as a format I don't see anything here available right now okay let's try to add it uh, hard drive what happened now hard disk local we so saw hard disk local LVM says seven gigabytes local LVM disk one disk zero um, I have a bad feeling about that right now. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Virteo. Okay. So let's close it. What about this one? This is ID zero. Okay. So. Let me click here and see what happens. Detach, by the way, I can resize the disk from here. I can uh, size incremental gigabytes. This virt IO zero and this one. Okay, so resize ID zero or drive. I didn't see an option to format this disk. It wasn't active, by the way. Local LVM. In any case, I have two hard drives, and the instruction says start at boot into the XP virtual machine. So let's start it. Let's bring up the console. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it's going to boot. Okay, I got the found new hardware wizard. Follow the instructions. I guess it's this one. 
The found new hardware wizard should appear. Leave this window open. You need to mount the Virt.io driver's ISO file. Okay, the Virt.io ISO. Right click on it and click select drive letter and mount it. Okay, let's do that. I know where it is. It's in my documents. It's in download, and here we go. Uh, send to, I don't see mount, of course, because, uh, I don't know, did I install this software? Maybe I haven't installed it, so I have to install this software. Found new hardware, so let me do that. Let me start this. Um, the publisher cannot be verified yet. So I haven't installed WinCD ammo, no wonder. So I'm not gonna customize anything. WinCD ammo. Continue anyway. Installation complete, okay? So let me try again with right mouse click. Um, no, I don't see anything which will help me here as a context menu. Open with, okay, let's try with this. Um, yeah, we CD, okay, okay, okay. At least choose the drive letter for the image. Okay, V, manage drive letters. Okay, let's just mount it. Hopefully, your computer might be at risk. Okay, I don't care about that right now. Let me see what's going on in my computer. I should have another device now mounted. Yeah, here we go. Drive V. And now let's follow the instructions. Go back to the found new hardware. We'll click next and verify it's looking for the Ethernet controller. Point the driver to V. Okay, if it's looking for an Ethernet controller. If not, I'll point it differently. Um, yes, this time only. Can Windows connect to Windows? Um, yeah. Every time I connect a device, um, can Windows connect to Windows Update to search for software? No, not this time. Next, install the software automatically recommended. No, install from list of specific locations. Okay, next, search. Include this lock location. I'm not quite sure that I'm installing right now the network driver. It looks like a network. Please choose your search and installation options. Location search, removable media, CD, DVD. Okay, browse. I'm gonna go to V drive. Um, here we go. V and what does it say? Now, verify it's looking for the Ethernet controller. Uh, VNet KVM. VNet KVM. Let me look at for VNet KVM. Okay, here we go. VNet KVM. And the architecture. My architecture is Intel, I guess. Well, architecture is either AMD 64 or x86. My mine is x86. I'm sure in that. Oh, it says XP, and after that I have to choose 86. I'll click OK. I'll click Next. Ethernet controller. Yeah, it should install Ethernet controller probably. If uh, I didn't miss something continue anyway red hat virtl virt io ethernet driver okay i have another driver now not this time 
now it's looking for the hard drive. New. And this time, not here, but this time, go through the same process for the Virt.io SCSI controller. Drivers are in V. VO stream Linux B architecture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so rows again. VXB. Um, not here. In the input. VO store. Video store. View SCSI, probably. View SCSI, I guess. It says View Store. View Store. I don't know, the things may be changed. So let me look at View SCSI. View SCSI, I believe it's the right choice here. Um, unfortunately, I don't see XP in the View SCSI. VWXP, View SCSI, V7, View Serial, v, View Store. Ah, here we go. View Store. XP. And architecture is 86. So let me try this one. SCSI controller. So it wasn't in VO SCSI. It was exactly whatever was in the tutorial. Red Hat Virt IO SCSI. Finish. So found new hardware. CD ROM drive. Uh, Okay, I install it, make it work. I'll check in the order. So we install the network, we install the hard drive, shut down the virtual machine, delete the second virt IO disk and remove it. It's not needed. Delete the primary ID disk, doesn't actually delete it, it just removes it from the being used in uh, by the virtual machine at the new hard disk. And in the fall in the lower section, choose the original ID disk. Um, a little bit dangerous, but okay, I don't see the disks, of course, the disk and the network driver. Of course, the network driver cannot be seen here, but control panel. Let's go to system hardware and see what happened here. Device manager. I have PCI device and no device, other devices. Network adapters. Red Hat Virtio. Okay, that's fine. Let's look at for SCSI. Win CD ammo. Red Hat Virtio SCSI controller. Okay, now I have to change the type of my ID, which is this one. Um, Virtio. It's very interesting why I don't see this one. Troubleshooting, advanced, drivers, details, resources. Okay, this is not what I need. Okay, let's look at in the network connections. Okay, I have two now. Local area connection one, it's RTL 8139, which Windows XP recognizes by default. And this is another one. Properties, show icon. So I have this icon right now. Mm. Okay, so now it's time actually to shut down again the machine. Remove the hard drives and uh, remove the hard drive actually, which I don't need anyway. Uh, but I'm curious to see how everything looks here. 
from my mini tool partition wizard probably is going to show me that uh, there is another hard drive just from curiosity uh, launch application okay 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 oh here we go i have an allocated disk too which i i'm going to remove anyway i don't need it i need it just uh, to install the driver so i'm going to shut down the machine turn off okay so the mach the machine is shut it down let's see what do we have to do here now delete the second virta your disk and remove it okay let's try to do that this is the second one disk one let me make sure yeah it's a virta yo um precise detach detach are you sure you want to detach entry hd blah blah okay yes um unused disk and i can remove it right now remove it yes deleting okay it's gone now what i have to do now it's detach this one as far as they say so go through the same process okay shut down delete the second bridge and remove it it's not needed delete the primary id detach does it actually delete it just removes it from the being used by the virtual machine okay detach at the new hard drive okay let's detach yes here we go now at hard drive Virteo. Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it now. Uh, attach or something else. ID. Virteo block, probably like that. Disk zero. And I'm going to hit add. Uh, where did it did it go? Okay, here we go. It says Virteo this time. Okay, so this is what I did. Now um, for the network drive, add new hard disk, and in the lower section, choose the original ID disk file. Change the bus to Virteo and save it. Boot the virtual machine. Mamma mia. Now we'll see the moment of truth. Start and bring up the console. Let's see what happens now. Um, okay, Windows XP was asking me to boot from the CD. We'll see now what happens. Okay, the moment of truth. Actually, he's booted. He's booting right now. Hmm. Now I have a Virtio driver. The bus is Virtio, which is supposed to be faster, probably. Uh, found new hardware, SCSI controller. Red Hat Virtio SCSI controller. Now, probably we have to again welcome to the found new hardware Windows. We'll search for the current updated software, blah 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 blah. Okay, let's look at again the instructions. You may be prompted to install the Virteo storage driver again. Do so, okay? Okay, so install Virteo XP. This time I'm in the suitable directory, so fix. Hit next. The location is does not exist or cannot be reached. Oh my god, okay. Uh, please enter another location, blah 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 blah. Okay. So probably I have to do this again. I mean uh, let me see if 
the CD still no, it's not attached here. That's for sure. So here to yo run. Ah, how many times I have to install this? Win CD. Okay, let me try from here. Where is this? Win CD ammo settings. Okay, English. Let Windows manage so it says before mounting image. Okay, I'm gonna ask you. Ask. Um, okay. What happens now? Oh, new hardware. Okay, I'm gonna do the same what I did the previous time. Documents, download, click, open with. I'm gonna choose Win CD, open. Mount device letter automatically. Okay, so disable auto run for this time. Keep driver after restart. This is what I supposed to say actually before. Okay, now I have it. I have this device mounted. Now it should be able to find it. Ah, specify is not okay, currently available. You're gonna ask me again to do this. So view store XP XP X6 uh, X86. Okay. View store XP XP86. Okay. So Red Hat retail your schedule controller. Hopefully it's gonna be installed now. Continue anyway, doesn't matter, it's not verified by Microsoft. Okay, I have the SCSI controller installed. Your new hardware installation, but might not work properly until you reboot. Okay, so I have to reboot, I believe. Uh, Windows has finished installation, new device, the software that supports your device returns, you, uh, requires that you to restart okay restart here we go the computer is restarted okay it's a local disk c and i noticed that it's much faster this time properties okay okay go 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 okay i still have 1.89 gigabytes this cleanup um the next thing i have to do now according to instructions is to remove one of the network drives and leave only one Operator connection speed status um let me go to the control panel and see in the network devices how many do i have i still have two this is the real tech and this is the virtio this one i have to remove and this one i'm gonna keep this time I set to the mounter to the win CD to keep the CD mounted and I do have it okay I won't have trolls this time I'm gonna shut down the machine remove the extra network device which I don't need net nick and I see turn off Okay, the virtual machine has been uh, turned off. So now I would like to remove the extra network driver. I don't need it anymore. This one. I'm going to remove it. Um, we don't have detach here. We just have remove. Virtio, remove it. Yes. And power on again the virtual machine and go to the console. Let's see what happens. Much faster, at least this wise. And here we go. Machine is working. Safely removed harder. Uh, do I have network? Yeah, I do have network and this time 
if I go to the control panel, probably it's going to ask me again to install the network driver. I don't know. You might be asked. It says you will be asked. No, it says it might. If you remove the Realtek network adapter, you might be prompted to reinstall the Virt.io network driver on the boot to do so. Okay. Let's see now. Do I have a network driver and is it properly okay? Network connect, local connection to Red Hat Virt.io. Let's see the settings. Okay. Uh, internet. Description, properties, obtain IP from the DHCP server, dynamic host configuration protocol. Okay, cancel. I'm not going to pink anything. I'm going to start immediately internet and see if that works. Uh, browser. works it seems to work it didn't ask me anymore to install anything so all the links will be down into the description I'll continue with my installation so this concludes the tutorial how to install virt.io drivers on WinXP guest in Proxmox thank you